Over at YouTube, time to do a little unboxing today. We got the Ryobi Link. The rolling box with the medium and the uh, small box. I ordered it from Home Depot. They just came out. They're Right now, they're only available online. So, I had them ship. Bought them on Thursday and they got here today. So, and today's Tuesday. For those watching in the future, um, let's see what we're working with. It's supposed to be a really good system. From the video Ryobi put out, it's supposed to be better than the pack out. I find the pack out a little fiddly, and with having to slide in and out stuff, I liked it, but I don't know. I always thought it was crazy. But let's see uh, how we're going to do this. Opening it with my trusty Spyderco uh, Pair 3. Sorry, I don't have a die. Regular cameras. Get my phone right here. So. All right, in this small box, what we got. Alright, we look like we got the small box and the medium box. Oh, those things are heavy. Alright, and here's the small and the medium box. We got the front of the boxes. The side of the box looks like you got some pretty decent handles. Eh. Kind of grippy. But on when holding them on the side, they're not too bad. The back's pretty open. And then the thing about this is you have these honeycomb or these hexagonal uh, things that everything locks into and uh, it's supposed to just click straight on and uh, let's see how that is whenever we uh, look at the box next at the box but first let's open this up see what we got All right, this is the medium box. Looks like we got a bit holder right here. Uh, and it's got some uh, knurling and stuff so you can hold some bits. Uh, I have to check that out later on, see how well that does. Not sure. How well it will be, but then it just closes like that. It looks like you got to where possibly we could add something right there. And then we got these bins. Looks like these bins are made so that they can click right into the like storage on the side, like the side wall storage stuff. Looks like the same bins. We may or may not visit that later in the video. Or not today, but later on. Let's see. I just want to check something. Oh, yeah. Let's say you're on a job site. You know, you got your box. got a box and you're done with all your stuff yeah, maybe not it looked like it would just snap right in I don't know 
I'll leave your thoughts in the comments below on uh, what you think. I don't think it's going to work like that, but who knows? Let's see. Oh, wait, I see it. Yeah, I see what we could do. Okay, on this side, it's got the, the little pieces. And on the other side, it don't. So these little bins, you could essentially, like let's say you got screws or something, there you go. That's actually not too bad of an idea. And this just slips in right there or right there. Yeah. Not sure if I'll end up using that, but nice little concept. A huh, little bit of reading material showing you the different things that this can do. As you can see, I got the rolling box, the medium box. In the standard toolbox. All right, let's see how well these uh, click out. Now it's supposed to be pretty easy. Oh, I see. Okay, so the bottom down here, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a button right here that we just pushed at. Oh, look at that. And it just lifts right on up. There's the button. Oh, and it just lifts right up. Get that on there. Look at that. No fuss. Oh, I like that. Let's try that again. But this time, let's put this small box on top. Hold on. Hmm. Maybe not. Something. Hmm. I don't know. For some reason, this one doesn't want to lock in. There we go. Hold on. Little. I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments below why this isn't just clicking in like the other one. Should just click right in. But let's see what oh, this comes with. Alright, small box. Another bit holder. It's showing that it's got these rails on that bit holder. And 
this one comes with one of the big boxes, one of the small boxes. But I do not see a way to uh, actually click these in or anything on here. As you can see, that's your small box. It's pretty deep. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, so, that's the small box. Let's see. I don't know why that's not just clicking right in. I mean, it clicked in there that time. But it's not just clicking in all the way. I don't know. I don't know, the way Ryobi touts this is you just set it right on top, but, all right, a little promotional material, telling you about stuff, mind you, I have not used this, it, but one thing, they say your Ryobi tools will click in to the top too. I don't know. Let's check out this guy. Sorry about this. All right, here we got the rolling box. And this is supposed to be designed very, very well, according to the videos that we saw on pre-release. Oh, it's very similar to the Rio, to the Milwaukee Packout rolling box. As you can see, all of this is made in the USA, actually in a plant up in Michigan. That's nice. Get another one of those bit holders and one of those again. I don't know. It looks like they've got it to where you can add additional stuff to the sides because. I mean, these channels go all the way down. You can see on both sides. And that just sits down right here. Wow, this seems really nice. Got a handle, got a handle on this side. Ooh. Those are some nice rubber over molded wheels. Wow. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the pack out ones were the heavy duty plastic or something. But, wow, that's actual rubber. Thick too. You got the handle. You got 
another handle here and another wheel here. And let's see. Oh, I got that. All right, handle pops up. Oh. Pretty high, actually. Wow. Got a nice rubber over mold right here. Nice uh, metal. That ain't plastic. One thing, uh, it's funny. I'm already looking at these and I can see that they are designed even better than uh, the Milwaukee stuff. Wow. Milwaukee's, a lot of their stuff is all plastic. And, I mean, I don't know if that's aluminum or steel, but, and then, oh wow, they have it to where you can get a, your boot right up in there to kick it, and one of the things that they said in the that you should be able to remove the handle but okay yeah I can see where it's got two little you got an Allen or a Torx right there I can't see good in that lighting and then got a couple bungee cord stuff. You got that step to help you uh, pull it back. That's nice. Especially when it's heavy. Um, wow. This is just designed really good. Let's see. Does it tell you in here how to remove the handle? Six inch all-terrain wheels, 200 pound load capacity. Uh, doesn't say. Telescoping steel handle. I'm not sure how you remove that. We might have to revisit this and see uh, if there's a way. Let's see, turn my light on. Yeah, it looks like you uh, just take out these uh, these torque screws. Yeah, take out these torques, two torque screws. And you can just remove that handle. That is nice. Once again. And then there's the bottom. Now, let's see here. Let's see if I can get these on here like oh wow that's on there good yeah there's the Ryobi with the small one on there first Tell me that that's not good. Let's see. I mean, look how seamless this was. Look at that. Wow. It's on there. I just set that on there. Wow. 
That is so much better than pack out. No fuss, no mess. No trying to slide stuff. Just. Yeah. Probably don't want to do it like that, but. Yeah. Probably not meant to do it like that, but as you can see. And then. I'm not 100% sure that there ain't something wrong with that top box lid. Because you guys saw that. Go straight on. I don't know. Might have to send it back. And you saw how easy that bottom one it connected to the rolling box but I don't know what's going on here I don't know. Something may be going back. But. Regardless. I do like this system. Wow. I don't know what's going on here. Because that. Set that down here. As you can see, I don't know, it's got to be that small box. I don't know. I think that small box is an issue. <sighs> Alright, let me play around with this for a minute and then we'll be back. Alright, I think I figured out what my issue is. Um, as you can see, you got this button right there. And that button, when you push it in, and you push it down, it collapses. It does not always want to pop back out. As you can see, um, let me remove the top. Sorry, I am working with my phone here, so 
This is just this was supposed to be a quick video. So basically in order to get this on here, the way they showed in the video was just uh let's get it on here and you're good. See that button pop back out. You just put it on there, push down, you're good. Now, the issue I'm having with this one is, if I go like that, now watch the button. It's not popping back out. That's an issue. Because I can just go. You saw how easy that was just to push down. And it was like that whenever I did it on the rolling box too. Just now trying it out with the small box. I mean, it's supposed to just click right in. Now I did find out on this that if I take it and I put it in from the front, and then click it in, pushing it back. It is going in properly, staying on. Oops, sorry. But as you can see, if I just go like this, Supposed to, it's not. But watch the button. Right. And it's not consistently clicking out either. If I go from the front, hold on, let me. To pretty much go from the front and slam it back in order to get it to lock in and but the one thing I wanted to show everyone was the reason this is so much better than pack out is uh, let's say I needed to get into a Oh, this into this box right here. I don't have to worry about doing anything. I just hold on. Yeah, this is just me screwing up because I'm holding my phone. But let me see if I can prop this. Okay, that should work. You can just take this. And just take it right off. And you got access to that. Also, you need to get into this box. Hold on. Okay, you need to get into this box down here. You don't You don't have to take everything off in order to do that. That's what makes this better than pack out, in my opinion. Sorry. I know this is already long enough video, but now just to show you that it was not just the top, the middle box. I was having that same issue with the locking this. I go like this. Push down. Still didn't lock in. 
you can see the buttons out. I go in, in the front. If I go in from the front, didn't even lock in all the front ones. Hold on, let me get my trusty uh Even if I sit on it, still is not clicking in. I have no idea. But I'll be getting a little Home Depot, getting a different one. So, but as of right now, I do like the system. I'm happy to have it. Hopefully they don't make me return all three sections just to get the one piece uh, swapped out. Might give Yobi a call tomorrow too just to make sure. But But yeah, the standard toolbox, which they, which is their small one, this one's not clicking at all. I know I've had this video going for too long, so I'm gonna let you guys go. But uh, give me your thoughts on what you think may be the issue here. Because, like I said, click right in if you liked the video uh, give it a thumbs up if you didn't you know what to do